Good morning, dear children. Today, in maths subject, we are going to learn lesson number one, geometrical figures. In this lesson, we are going to cover three topics. First topic is angle. Second topic is circle. Third topic is sides and vertex of geometrical figures. Dear children, let us move on to our first topic that is angles. In this topic, we are going to talk about different types of angles. But before we discuss the different types of an angle, I must tell you what is an angle. Let's see what is an angle. Observe the following pictures. We see angles between the ground and the slide. In second picture, you can see that the ladder is making an angle with the ground. In third picture, we can see angles between the trunk and its branches. In picture number four, there is an angle between the electric pole and the ground. In our surrounding, Wherever we see two lines meeting, there is an angle. The angle is basically a combination of two rays at common point. Now, let's have a look on different types of angles. The first type is right angle. Dear children, if you try a stone, at the end of a thread and if you will hang it like this, the stone will go towards the ground and the thread will be straight and it is not slanting in any manner. And if we draw a line parallel to the ground, these two rays will make a right angle. So, can you tell me children, where do you see a right angle in your surrounding? Yes, we see a right angle between two adjoining sides of a window. The two adjacent sides of a book make a right angle. In a clock at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock, the minute hand and hour hand are at right angles to each other. Keep one thing in your mind, dear children. The measurement of a right angle is always 90 degree. Now, let's move towards second type of angle. That is acute angle. An angle which is smaller than a right angle is called an acute angle. Now, third type is obtuse angle. An angle which is bigger than a right angle is called an obtuse angle. Moving ahead to the new topic, let's learn about different parts of a circle. Take a small piece of paper and one bowl. Place it upside down on a piece of a paper and trace its outline. Remove the bowl. Now, Cut the outline. The figure you get on the piece of a paper is a circle. Now make few more circles like this. Take one of these shapes and fold it as I am showing you. Trace the line of the fold with a pencil. This line is called a chord of the circle. Now take one more shape and fold it in such a way so that it is divided into two equal parts. Press the line of the fold with a pencil. This line is called a diameter of the circle. Take one more shape. Now 
fold the shape in such a way so that we get a quarter part of it. Unfold the paper shape. Now, press the lines of the folds. The point at which these lines meet each other is the center of the circle. If I again take out the center of a circle and if I point out center and if I take one point on the circle, now if I join this line, this line will be a radius of the circle. So dear children, we have learnt center of the circle, radius of the circle, chord of the circle and a diameter of the circle. The difference between the diameter and the chord is diameter always passes through the center of a circle and the diameter too is a chord of the circle. Let's move to the new topic that is vertex and side of geometrical figures. We'll start with rectangle. A rectangle has four edges that is four sides. The point where two sides meet is called a vertex. Let's observe this image. In this figure, point A, point B, point C and point D are the vertices. And side AB, side BC, side CD and side AD are the sides of the rectangle. The opposite sides of the rectangle are of equal length. All the angles of a rectangle are right angles. Now, second figure is a square. A square has four vertices and four sides. Let's observe this figure. In this figure, point P, point M, point R and point S are the vertices of the square. All the sides of a square are of equal length and all its angles are right angles. The major difference between square and the rectangle is all the sides of a square are of equal length while in a rectangle only opposite sides are equal. Let's move to the new figure that is triangle. A triangle has three vertices and three sides. Point Y, point R and point L are the vertices of this triangle. Side YR, side RL, side YL are the three sides of the triangle. A triangle has three angles.